Charles Alexander de Pie, French, Al de Pie, the 5th of November 1851 to the 23rd of July 1923, was a French statesman, three times prime minister. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> he was born in Le Puy and Valais, Haute Loire, Auvergne, where his father was a minor official. After a period as a professor of philosophy in the provinces, he was appointed a school inspector, thus obtaining a practical acquaintance with the needs of French education. In 1885 he was elected to the chamber as an opportunist Republican. After acting as «reporter» of the budget for public instruction, he became minister for the department, in Alexander Rybot's cabinet, in 1892. In April 1893 he formed a ministry himself, taking as his office that of Minister of the Interior, but resigned at the end of November, and on 5 December was elected President of the Chamber. During his first week of office an anarchist, Valent, who had managed to gain admission to the Chamber, threw a bomb at the President, and Depay's calm response, "'Messieurs, la séance continue' gained him much credit. In May 1894 he again became Premier and Minister of the Interior, and he was at President Carnot's side when Carnot was stabbed to death at Lyons in June. He then stood for the presidency, but was defeated, and his cabinet remained in office till January 1895. Under this government, Alfred Dreyfus was arrested and condemned the 23rd of December 1894. The progress of the Dreyfus affair cast its shadow over Depay, along with other French ministrables. But in November 1898, after Henri Brisson had at last remitted the case to the judgment of the Court of Cassation, he formed a cabinet of Republican concentration. During Depay's time as Prime Minister, a number of progressive reforms were carried out. A law implemented in June 1894 introduced a form of social insurance through a mutual fund for minors' welfare and retirement, while a law passed in November 1894 introduced the Credit Agricole Mutualist Savings Bank for Farmers. In addition, a law passed that same month set out the role of the state-owned Caisse des Dépôts in the construction and management of subsidized housing, in view of the apparent likelihood that the judges of the criminal division of the Court of Cassation—who formed the ordinary tribunal for such an appeal— would decide in favor of Dreyfus. It was thought that Depay's new cabinet would be strong enough to reconcile public opinion to such a result, but, to the surprise of outside observers, Depay proposed a law in the chamber transferring the decision to a full court of all the divisions of the Court of Cassation. This arbitrary act, though adopted by the chamber, was construed as a fresh attempt to maintain the judgment of the first court martial. In the interim, President Felix Faure an anti died, and the accession of Emile Lubit helped placate the public. The whole Court of Cassation decided that there must be a new court martial, and Depay at once resigned June 1899. Although none of Depay's presidential bids were successful, he served, due to his position as Prime Minister, as an acting president of the French Republic for three separate occasions during vacancies. In June 1900 Depay was elected senator for the Haute-Loire Department. He was re-elected on 7 January 1906 and of January 1920, holding office until his death on 23 July 1923. Depay's first ministry, 4 April 1893 – 3 December 1893 Charles de Pie, President of the Council and Minister of the Interior Jules de Velle, Minister of Foreign Affairs Julien Léon Loiselon, Minister of War Paul Patrol, Minister of Finance Eugène Guerin, Minister of Justice Louis Terrier, Minister of Commerce, Industry, and Colonies Auguste Alfred Lefebvre, Minister of Marine Raymond Poincaré Minister of Public Instruction, Fine Arts, and Worship Albert Vigor, Minister of Agriculture Jules Viette, Minister of Public Works Depay's second ministry, 30 May 1894 – 26 January 1895 Charles de Pie, President of the Council and Minister of the Interior and of Worship Gabriel Hanato, Minister of Foreign Affairs Auguste Mercier, Minister of War Raymond Poincaré, Minister of Finance Eugene Guerin, Minister of Justice 
Félix Fauré, Minister of Marine Georges Lagues, Minister of Public Instruction and Fine Arts Albert Viger, Minister of Agriculture Théophile Delcasse, Minister of Colonies Louis Barthou, Minister of Public Works Victor Lortes, Minister of Commerce and Industry and of Posts and Telegraphs Depuy's Third Ministry, 1 November 1898 – 22 June 1899 Charles Depuy, President of the Council and Minister of the Interior and Worship Théophile Delcasse – Minister of Foreign Affairs Charles de Frysine – Minister of War Paul Patrol – Minister of Finance Georges Lebret – Minister of Justice Édouard Locroy, Minister of Marine Georges Lagues, Minister of Public Instruction and Fine Arts Albert Viger, Minister of Agriculture Florent Guillon, Minister of Colonies Camille Krantz, Minister of Public Works Paul Delombre, Minister of Commerce and Industry and of Posts and Telegraph Changes 6 May 1899 Camille Krantz succeeds Frysine as Minister of War Jean Monastier succeeds Krantz as Minister of Public Works. 